Hey guys, you are watching me, and this is episode 3. Hey guys, my name is David Fredline. Firstly, I'd just like to say thank you for all the support I received from these reviews, and to all these very kind people who actually commented uh, telling me to do more reviews, because it's you guys that keeps me reviewing. As long as I get one comment that says I should review the next episode, I will. That's how it works. This is a pretty empty episode. I mean, I'm just looking at my notes right now, and I, there's nothing really written down that's really, really happened. It's just notes that I've taken that I've liked about the episode. For example, when Tammy puts her laptop on the fridge and then it gets knocked down and she catches it in time. Good catch. And Phil. God, I love Phil. She's hilarious. I brought vodka. Come on over. I'm actually surprised that Ed and Tammy stayed in locked inside that room pretty much the whole entire episode. I didn't expect that. I thought they would be let out in, you know, 5-10 minutes and then head to the Lost Dinosaurs and do the interview, blah 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 blah, and be all good. But they stayed in there the whole time. I found it funny how Eva just said she was the delivery girl and she got let into the building. There is some truth about that. I have done this before with some friends and it does work. If you're ever out on the streets or somewhere and you see a, a building, pff, of course you're gonna see a building. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I mean, if you're ever walking out on the streets and you see like a, a unit building, you know how they have all the numbers on the thing and you can call them to like, hey, it's me, let me up. If you just press every single button, guaranteed 90% of the time, someone will buzz you in without even saying anything. But then some people will come down and then like yell at you, but that's why you run away. Whole point of bring and run, right? And Phil, oh, she's a party girl. Drinking down that vodka. I brought vodka! Can't hold it. Needs a little bit of sugar, but hey. I've actually never tried that, vodka and sugar. I wonder if that actually gets rid of the taste. I should try that. And man, how obedient is Tammy's kid? Luke's like, okay, off to bed. Okay. And I'll be like, no! No! This episode and previous episodes, Luke has got some, Eva has got some, Ed has got some, Phil has got some, Scarlet has got some. The only one who hasn't got some is Tammy. If you have no idea what I mean when I say got some, you shouldn't be watching Slide, nor this. No, do watch this, because then it ups my view count. Towards the end of the episode, Scarlet seems to get a little bit jealous of Luke and Tammy. Post your response below, or a video response, I've never gotten a video response, please do, to this question. Do you think the slowly increase of Scarlet's jealousy for Tammy and Luke will lead her to have sexual activities with Ed? Yes or no? Down below. I wanna know. I just don't have as much enthusiasm as I've had for the last episodes, mainly because I've got a ton of uni work to do. And it's piling up, and uh, the best bit of the whole episode is at the end when Scarlet and Luke let Tammy and Ed and Phil out of the locked door, and Ed goes to the toilet <laughs> and runs off the edge onto Phil's face. She thinks it's raining, so she has a little bit of a, a taste. and then runs screaming out of the building. I thought that was the best bit of the whole entire episode. <laughs> so yeah, in conclusion, I liked that episode. My favorite bit was the thing I just told you before. Music, if you liked any of the music you heard in this week's episode of Slide, look in the description, in the info. All the songs are there, all the links to iTunes, so you can download the songs, check them out. That's the end of this review. Thanks for watching. If you've watched before, once again, thanks again. You may see me later and I will see you when I see you.